Well, hi ho Stampers, Deb Felder here. Welcome back to my studio. I'm glad to have you back. And today we're going to do a card that I used to do with dental floss. Believe it or not, um, back in the day when we wanted twisty cards, we always used dental floss to make them spin. Um, but now there's a die that you can do, you can use, and um, these are just little um, spinner cards. Aren't they cute? Okay, I'm going to go through them one by one and just show you some of the things I want to point out. So let's start with the little birthday card. The birthday card, the die actually, let's start with the die. You need this part of it and then with that you can add anything that you want to go along with it um, from the sets that are available. But you need this little um, window die. And then with that window die comes the little happy birthday. I left this in here so you could just see how cute and adorable it is. There's the little happy birthday. All right, that comes with this little window die right here so that's the base of this whole card and then you can add any one of these little sets so that you can make these little spinner cards so you get to see the front of the card you get to see the back of the card and then you open it up and there's the inside of your card all right so for this one right here the birthday cake what I did was um, I colored the whole thing in and then I added some of our crystal glaze which you're gonna see on a lot of these cards because I love my crystal glaze um, I added the crystal glaze to make chocolate ganache isn't that so cute I love it I just absolutely love it so on this one the little cake the front and the back um, they're mirrored images of each other so um, you can actually put them together all right, there's actually two stamps. You're gonna see this. I couldn't find directions on how to do this, so I thought I would give you um, literally from beginning to end how to do these and use these as your directions, all right? And then here, this little guy right here is one of my favorites. This is the uh, the little dog, and um, with the little dog, I um, this is the front of him. This is the back of him. Isn't he cute? So when he spins, all right, when he spins, you can see the back of him. You can see the front of him. So I just wanted to point out a couple little things. On this right here and all of the ones that I'm using today, I actually used um, designer paper for it, but you can decorate any way that you want to. As we get into it, I'm going to explain to you why I use um, other layers. But I used our um, uh, our paper right here. It's a six by six pack. What I love about this one is, is on one side, it's very generic. On the other side, this one happens to be Easter. But um, you always have, and I always look for papers like that that have a generic side um, if you're going with a themed paper on the other side. So here's this little guy right here and this one right here. So I, I can continue to use these throughout the year, but I also have them for Easter if I need to. The other one that I'm using a lot of today is this one right here, and I love, love these. I do save all my little scraps because I love to save. Um, this is one we're going to use actually today, I think. Um, this one is our Cottage Stripes, and this is new to the shop. Um, go, go check it out. We have a lot of different paper packs. They're six by six, and I just love them. So let's put these over to the side for now. And then um, I'll, I'll show you what else I've used. Um, on this one right here, I also used the little happy birthday. We have a bunch of these little tiny sayings. Look at how sweet this is, all right? So we have best wishes. We have, I think, get well, happy birthday. Um, they're all these little simple tiny um, sayings that are in there. And then we have, um, on this one right here, I also used my uh, white Nouveau Drops right here and our sprinkles, um, which are our prills. And make sure you check those out because we have, I think it's 42 colors of them. Um, but you remember when I did this little card right here and I did this, the, um, the same exact thing. I added the little prills to um, the frosting. So, so cute. Also on this little guy right here, we have, uh, or actually, um, I'm not on this one, but instead of using the little happy birthday, you could also use um, the sentiments. Um, it's called dog sentiments, and um, they just are so adorable, but they, they go right along with this little stamp set right here. And also, you can use these stamps without using them for um, the window cards here or the twister cards. You can use them just on a regular card also, and I'll show you that as we get ready to stamp. All right, so then um, this little guy right here, like I said, here's the front of him, here's the back of him. So when he twists, he's so cute. 
right? I also, on all of these cards, because I love the glitz and the glitter and the glamour, um, check out all of our um, glitter markers. They're in there. If you type in the search box glitter marker, all of the markers that we have um, come up. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So prills, um, our crystal drops, they're awesome. All right. So there's that little card right there. We'll keep these right over here. Of course, if we have a dog, we have to have a cat. So this is our little kitty right here, all right? Now, each stamp set also comes with a saying. Like I said, you can use the saying or you don't have to. We do have a kitty stamp set of stamps. They're so adorable. So if you're a cat lover, make sure that you use or you um, look into these. They're in the shop. Um, look at the little hand stamped by stamp. It's got little paw prints on it. It's so cute, all right? Um, you're the cat's pajamas. They're adorable. So you can also use these on that if you're a cat lover and you want to do this. So here's the front of the cat and here is the back of the cat. So cute. And the coloring on this is so minimal. All right. So you can do that do as fast or as small or as fast or as slow as you want to. Now this is one of my favorites and this one does take a little bit more time because of the coloring, but you don't have to get that fancy. Um, here's the front of the vase and here is the back of the vase or vase as you might call it. Um, and the other thing I wanna show you is because these come out, you can have it flip whichever way you want to. So if I wanna have it flip this way, okay, and have it facing this part over here, you can do that also because it's very versatile. On this one, I also use the little banners and um, the words that came with it because they are those, um, I think they're photopolymer, you can actually bend them. So I bent it just a little bit so it fit on my little banner. It's so cute. So these are the banner dies. Um, these are, I just use these all the time. I love, love, love them. Now I didn't use these sayings on there, but you can because they go right along with the banners. Um, it's kind of like when you give a mouse a cookie. If you give him a mouse a cookie, he will ask for a glass of milk. If he asks for a glass of milk, he's gonna ask for a straw. Well, when you give somebody a banners um, to go along with your twisters, they're going to ask you for the sayings to go along with them. You see how that kind of all goes together? Um, I used to teach that when I, I taught um, on stage uh, stamping. It's if you give a mouse a cookie, well, if you give a stamp, stamp or a stamp, then it just goes from there. So this little guy right here is just so, so very, very pretty. Um, you can use it and you can use different sayings on it. The thinking of you is the one that comes with this set. So um, like I said, it's just beautiful. And each and every one of these comes with a die along with a saying and um, you can use them, like I said, this one is adorable. This one is the little bird die and um, it's just absolutely adorable. So here's the front of the bird and here is the back of the bird. So he also tweets around, tweets around, get it? Hello, Tweety. So, so cute. But the one that I really love is this one right here. Now I used my new Tim Holtz um, 3D die. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's in the shop. It's just so realistic. Um, maybe not being purple, but I wanted this to be very, very, very bright and bold. And that's what I did. So I just added the uh, the little bird to the ins or to the I'm sorry, I added the little dimension embossing folder, 3D embossing folder, and hello, Tweety, you are just so cute. All right, and then here's this one. I think I showed you this one. This one is just done with our designer paper again. All right, and then this one is adorable. Okay, happy birth birthday, you fabulous creature. And here he is on one side, and then here he is on the other side. And what I love about him is that um, I used my little glitter markers because he needed to have lots of razzle and dazzle. So I used our glimmer pa our um, sparkle paper, and I used our um, glitter markers, and he is just razzling and dazzling. On he him and also on her right here, I used. Um, our uh, crystal glazed for the glasses to make them pop a little bit and then I just used a different background to show you that he can look different with different backgrounds kind of like these two right here they look so cute um, but so very different so it, you can do mix and match um, you can do whatever you want and then last but not least I did this one for Easter but this little guy can be just about anything he can be a cute little spring card just don't add the happy Easter to it that's another die that's in our um, in our shop 
So you can grab the whole set if you want to. They're just absolutely adorable. But today I think we're going to use with the kitty. All right. So he's cute, adorable, and fun to do. I wanted to show you from beginning to end, like I said, the directions because I couldn't find any. Um, and it's not that it's hard. I just want to make sure that you know that you have to have this and you also have to have the window. They're sold separately. So once you get this one, you can buy the whole set of these little guys right here. All right. So let's get going. We're going to just take this out. Take this out. I love that these are in um, protective coverings because it allows me to get um, my gloves on. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put my dies to the side for now. And I'm going to grab my gloves for a minute. Just put them on while I'm mounting my, my stamps here. So I'm going to use like my little mini Misty and um, my stamps. And they can be positioned anywhere you want on here. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter because they're going to be cut out. And I always make sure, even though I'm not going to use the same for this, I will always make sure that I um, take and ink it up and save it. All right, so we're just going to take this, uh, press it down, and now we're going to begin to stamp. Now with these, um, if you've watched any of my old videos about when I first started, I always take and condition them with um, my WOW embossing pad. And what I mean by that is every single time I use these, I um, just do one little coat of the WOW pad so that my black ink doesn't stick to them. I'm going to tell you, I have some stamps that I've used in my classes that are just permanently black. And for me, who is a red rubber um, stamp lover, uh, it's really hard to get past that. So um, I always put a little layer of that. It was just something I I just one day figured out myself. Um, and I just, I, I like doing it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little ink pad. Um, because it works a little bit better than, well, I can take my gloves off now. I sound like a boxer. I can take my gloves out now and come out punching. Um, I'm just going to take my little um, ink pad and just kind of go around the sides. It really does alleviate some of the um, mess, not only on the inside, but also on the outside. Um, for me, it's just easier. You can use any uh, ink pad that you want. Because we're watercoloring, you also need a permanent ink pad. And this little guy is a permanent ink pad. It's tiny and cute. All right. So because I have my Misty, I can do this a couple times. And when I'm doing watercoloring, I really like to do that because it doesn't um, cover as well um, on the paper because the paper has more texture to it. All right. So even without cleaning this, you can see that there we go. Um, it, it cleans itself off when you're um, stamping it down. All right. And I think I'll do just a little bit more where he's. And then the rest of them look pretty good to me. Uh, how about this little guy right here? There we go. All righty. All right. So now I'm just going to take the, put the top on that. Clean this off and you see how clean it gets? Our little wow pad also comes with a reinker, and the reinker is to die for. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so we've got that taken care of. Let's grab these. And now we need to cut them out. This is watercolor paper. So um, another little thing I want to show you is when your bottom plates get to look just like this, all right? Not so much when I'm cutting this out because these two are going to be glued together. But when I'm cutting out this layer right here, if you don't put that um, a, a piece of just scrap paper, let me just show you. If I just took a piece of scrap paper and put it down and then started my cutting, you're not going to pick up all those designs. I know you know what I'm talking about, but because you're going to see the inside of the card, you really don't want all those designs in there. So make sure you, you um, cover that up. All right, so we'll just take that, put it through there. Um, I do have a different set of plates um, for my um, camera. Um, those are my downstairs plates, the ones I use for everything else. But let me just switch you over here so that you can see um, the cutting of this. All right. So what I'm going to line up, I'm looking for one little piece. So I'm going to line it up with his two little hands. Um, it's harder with the, um, if you don't find that special piece, it's really harder to find um, 
it like on the flowers they're more intricate so if you just find a piece and line it up with that piece so again here's his hands I'm gonna line up his hands because you're not lining it up with these two things on the top and the bottom you're lining it up with the actual cat himself so I'm just gonna lay these down here like this I'm gonna add some of my little tape right here for both pieces so that they don't move okay there's one and you can reuse this this tape I do all the time um, and it goes a really long way again it's in the shop and it's good to have because we don't use magnetic plates anymore all right add this to this and run it through me just realized that this was too low I didn't even think of that so let's go back and re-ink that up and redo that okay so that's something that you got to remember when you're doing this you know I was trying to save paper so I put it a little bit too low so you want to make sure when you're doing this okay that you have enough room on the top and the bottom so when you're cutting them out um, you have this and this it's not just the cat part of it it's both all right so let's color our cat and I'm gonna do that with my pans today. Let's bring this in here. It's gonna be fast and easy, breezy. All right, so here's our cat. Here's a little bit of water. All of my watercoloring instructions are on my video for watercoloring one and two, and pretty soon there will be number three. All righty, so I always like to keep the cap in there. All right, so let's just start with the front of the cat right here, and we're gonna take just some um uh, let's see do we want to uh, let's go with a light gray here all right so i'm just going to take in very quickly remember this is watercolor paper so it's very forgiving So our little cat is done and let's put our watercolors away. You see how fast that is? And I think watercoloring is faster than using your, um, than using like your markers or one of those. So let's just put these out of the way so that I don't make a mess. All right, so we've got our front, the front of our cat and the back of our cat. Now to put these two together, my, the one that I like the best is the liquid glue. And that's because you can get it close to the edges. All right, so I just kind of start it here in the middle and then just drag it around. And you'll notice that I'm just kind of squeegeeing it, it on. This is my all time favorite glue. I love how it comes out. I love how it dries. I love how it is so precise because you can put it wherever you want and it's not runny. It dries really pretty fast. You only have to put this on one side. All right, and then always make sure you put the top on it and I have never had it um, clog on me. So um, just make sure that after you're done with it, there's time here that you can put your top back on. All right, so now I'm just gonna add these two together. And the reason I like the liquid glue is because you have wiggle room. So I just kind of plopped that on there. And now what I'm doing is just putting it together like this. And this glue is so fast drying that you really don't have to sit there and hold it. But what I'm gonna do is just make sure that I lay it down. All right, isn't he cute? She, he, whatever. All right, and you can bling this up. You can put a little bow tie on it. You can take and you can put, um, you know, just anything. It's just so, so adorable. All right, 
So now our cat is done, let's make the base of our card. And this base is done the exact same way as all of the other ones, all right? It's just the different pieces that you're gonna use for, um, you know, for the inside of it. Now they're interchangeable too. So if I wanted to take this one, well, it says Happy Easter. I don't think I wanna, I don't wanna use that one, but let's say I, I wanna take this one. I make up a bunch of card bases. You can either put words on it or not put words on it. Make a bunch of these and then they're just so interchangeable, you see? So you can take and make up a bunch of these ahead of time and have them on the fly. All right, so I'm just gonna take and put this little guy back in there. And remember what I told you at the beginning, you can make them face this way, or you can make them face that way, it's up to you, all right? So here's our little cat, we're gonna make the base now. So I'm gonna start with a base card, and it doesn't matter whether you have it opening, you know, um, this way or this way, you can use either one. But what I like to do, and I said this in the beginning, is I like to have, um, I like to have extra paper on the front. So for this one, I'm using um, our just designer paper from the little six by six paper pack. Uh, I like that because it gives more meat and bones to it. All right, you can also take and you can use your distressed inks and make a really pretty background on it. Um, you can take and use uh, an embossing folder like I did for the um, bird, all right? But it has more than one layer to it, which is what I like about it. It just gives it more substance, all right? So for this one right here, I think that I'll take some paper from one of our newer paper packs. Now on this one, you have the polka dots on one side and you have the um, the uh, stripes on the other side. I think we'll go with the stripes. We're gonna cut it down to four by five and a quarter because I like the white edge around the outside of it. Um, this is actually bigger than, than um, six inches because of this little thing right here. So you actually have, what is it? Probably six and a half inches, but we're gonna cut it down and I want the four to be uh, this way. All right, so I want my stripes going up and down. So I'm gonna do four by five and a quarter. I told you I'm gonna make you sit through every single thing on this one just to show you how stinking easy this is. All right, and then this is my inside piece. Um, again, you can you can um, craft this any way that you want. You can design the inside and the outside any way that you want. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape runner and, whoops, I want that side. I don't want the dots. Now, when you're doing this, and this is why I'm showing you from beginning to end, is that you wanna make sure that this whole part right in here is very well covered with your um, tape runner or your liquid glue, whatever you're going to do. And the reason you wanna do that, I'm gonna show you as soon as I get it cut out, but you have to have a good, um, that to me would have been wasting paper at first, but um, you need it for this one because I'm gonna show you All right, so this is the outside of our card. This is gonna be the inside of the card. So now what we need to do is to cut this little guy right here, all right? So I'm gonna take one of my used pieces of tape. I'm gonna bring you back over here. And we're gonna cut this little guy out. here and show you how it looks once we cut it out. So this piece right here, what I was telling you earlier, is um, you can reuse it. You can use it for another piece, you can use it for a layer, you can use it to cut out things in the middle. Like what I did on one of mine is I actually cut out the strip from this little piece right here. All right, so now we have this all cut out. What we're gonna do now, and the reason, I was gonna tell you, the reason we needed to make sure that we had that tape all the way across, because if you didn't, it would have popped up between here and there. All right, aren't you glad you watched this video because it might be something that you didn't know. You might have not cut off his little the little legs right here, okay? 
Um, so now we have this piece right here. We're literally done, all right? Except for your words. You can take and put your words in. I'm going to take and put this on the inside, which I don't have to do. I can leave it white if I want to. But like I said, I like to have substance on the outside and the inside. Um, and again, this card is so much easier than doing it with um, the dental floss. Alrighty, and then all we have to do is to pop this little guy right in there. Now, the only other thing that I want to show you that I do, okay, so if we want him to flip and flop this way right here, I just kind of force it a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm actually forcing this right here to be the way that I want it to. Um, how else can I say that? It's um, You want to make sure that it doesn't always flip to the back or to the front. You want it to kind of stay a little bit like that in transit. All right, and then we would just put our little words right here. So right here I have my, um, let me grab my scissors. Okay, I'm just gonna take and cut this out. Like I said, for this one, I'm not gonna actually um, use this saying, but I'm just gonna show you in case I did. All right, then we'll make a little banner out of this. Oops, a little bit more. Cut up the middle, cut to the side, cut to the side, and do the same on this side right here. And you can just add it to this piece right here. Ah, maybe I will do that. Let's add it with our Glue. it looks really cute and then ta-da isn't that so cute all right so hop on over to my blog all of the details are there and um, all of the links to any of the products are down below but they're easier to find on my blog so there's a little eye up there on top all of the information and the, the direct clickable is up there if you like this subscribe to the um, subscribe button down below and click on the bell and you'll um, get my videos as soon as they come uh, hit a thumbs up button if you liked it and if you didn't please don't hit the thumbs down button that hurts my heart and then what I want you to do is to share it with your friends you take care have a great day and thank you for stopping by